Uh, right, we're back with Paula um, as our very kind model. Um, even though Paula is a very docile Pekin, sometimes she does feel the need to, uh, to go with the other side's grass is greener and fly over uh, the fence that holds her in, uh, the poultry net, and so we trim one of her wings. And so I'm going to demonstrate to you how to painlessly, for her and you, uh, trim the wing of a chicken. Now, as you would trim a dog's claws or your fingernails, it's a completely painless thing. The, the end of the feathers is, is dead, it's keratin. It's just, it's an inert substance. Um, so the quick, which is what would be on your fingers, the pink bit, or on a dog, the dark bit on the inside of the nail, the quick is what you have to avoid cutting. Uh, there's a, um, a very good blood supply in there and it will bleed if you cut into it. But you mustn't be scared of it because if you do get a little bit of a bleed, if you just go a little bit too deep on one, you can put some veterinary wound powder on and that'll dry it up very quickly. It won't be fatal for the bird, uh, which obviously she won't like it, uh, but it, it, well, it's not the end of the world. Now, the easiest way to do this is to hold your chicken, thank you, Paula, hold your chicken and spread, spread one wing out because we're only going to trim one wing spread one wing out like a hand, like this. Now, you want to have a look through these feathers to see where the dark area of quick is. And the best light you can hold it up to is the big one up in the sky. So although we're in a shop here, we're gonna pretend that we're holding it up like this, which will unnerve her a little bit, but you hold it up to the sky like this and you look through the feathers and you can see where the dark area is and just get that fixed in your mind. You can see where you're going to trim. And you can then bring her down. You can keep her gently under control because she thinks you're about to do something nasty to her and we're really not. Sturdy pair of kitchen scissors. Okay, be brave and just go. There we go. Right. Okay, okay. Now, if you have a look at that, there's a lot of primary wing feather gone there. There is no blood, there's no damage. And if you look at her wing, it's much, much shorter compared to the other wing. Now, the idea of this is that when she goes to take off, that long wing gives her much more lift than this short wing. And so she's de destabilized and goes, whoa, makes her not quite so keen on taking off. Many times you'll find that with a young bird, if you trim one wing when they're young, uh, they find out that they're unbalanced and they don't want to fly because it's, it's, it's uh, awkward for them and they'll never try again uh, for the rest of their life. Um, but uh, with older birds, if you trim one wing, you'll have to do it again when they've refeathered in the autumn. Uh, so that is how to trim the wing feathers of a chicken so it doesn't keep escaping from your poultry net. Um, thank you, Paula. As you can see, She's in no way hurt. She's quite happy now. She's calmed down. She's realized that nobody's going to hurt her. So you have to be a little bit brave, but do as I say, up to the light, sturdy pair of scissors and just a nice smooth cut around. You're taking about a third off the length of the wing. Um, no worries. Thank you for watching. If you've got any questions for Ask Phil, please email in to info at flightsofancy.co.uk, that's flight with a Y, uh, or you can go on to our Facebook channel, Flight So Fancy Facebook channel, or our YouTube video channel where all the uh, Ask Phil questions are and loads more videos from Flight So Fancy. Um, if you're interested in, in any products that have been featured on our videos, um, please have a look on our website, which is uh, www.flightsofancy, again with a Y, .co.uk. Um, and there's lots and lots of information, lots of products, and loads and loads and loads of chicken knowledge that's been garnered over the years. Um, also, just in case you're not on the internet, I'm not quite sure how you're watching this, but we also do a printed catalogue as well, which is we're just printing this year's now. So thank you very much indeed for watching. Bye bye.